Hello men, I'm here with Nolan. I'm working on my accent. I'm trying to get into my Southern accent. It takes a little while. But anyway, the Brinkman's gone and now we got the Weber. All right, this is the end of summer, end of summer cookout with, with my grandson because he's going back to school tomorrow. All right, and also called the end of times cookout. All right, because we only got about another 10 years before the planet really just kind of goes to hell. So um, we're gonna have a good time in the meantime. So firstly, we're gonna have to start the Weber. And we just put that little button over here like that and you push that ignition and the sound is just beautiful. When that thing ignites, it makes me think of a thermonuclear explosion, a Nagasaki. You know, Nagasaki. You don't have to be a World War II buff to know Nagasaki, right? In Hiroshima. All right, the nuclear code is the end of times cooking. The end of times cooking the class I'm teaching here. This is all just very random. Okay? Math is pretty random. So, and I got my bell cup over there, and I got my beer. And uh, I'll try not to mix the vegetables with the meat too much because uh, no one is a vegetarian i'm very proud of him he doesn't want to hurt animals you know that factory farming stuff is just it's a heinous crime against against animals and uh, i'm all for him being a, a vegetarian a little fire there okay we're gonna stare at him and give them an evil eye make sure they cook have my bell drink right here, right here. As long as the neighbors don't see I'm drinking a, out of a Disney cup. Okay, that was good. And I just have a beer chaser. You know, that's how we do it down in the South. And we make sure that we, we, we stick our guts out there a little bit, okay? Just to show them that we are well fed. We have lots of food up here. So now we're just gonna, I think we're gonna keep this in high for a couple minutes, you know, for these veggie burgers. Get a little get up to temperature. Okay, it's been about five minutes here on the Weber cookout. And uh, now I'm flipping over the burgers. I'm giving them the evil eye, you know. Ooh, they look like they're getting cooked there pretty good. And they're vegetarian. There's beans in there, there's corns. Looks like something that came out of your colon, right? And you're just Made a little, made a little, uh, made a little patty out there, but it didn't come out of someone's colon. I didn't, I didn't buy it like that. I promise. I wouldn't do that to my my grandson. Although they do look like colon burgers, you know, when you you drop one of those things in the in the toilet, it looks kind of like it came out of your colon. But um, anyway, Colin Powell. You remember Colin Powell? He had a funny name, Colin. Well, anyway, this is all very random. And now we're going to be basting, basting the chicken with a special concoction that, that Nolan made me do. It's like five or six different ingredients. Worcestershire sauce, uh, mustard. Um, we got a little, we, do we have ketchup? No, we don't have any ketchup in there. Uh, we got like some barbecue sauce, uh, a little pepper, pepper in there. A couple of other little ingredients. Oh, a little wine. Oh, men love blood. That looks like blood now. Oh, that's... Yeah, but you know, I drank out of that. So it's going to have a little little taste of grandpa in there. All right. If you're if you're up for some of that, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. We're not going to give this to the guests out there. Because this is your own little concoction. Your own little concoction. Oh, that looks like blood. Men love blood. Men love to be covered in blood. They like to, they like to see blood. They like to blow shit up. That's how men, that's how men are. And that's and get their aggressions out when they grill. Cause they like to put a lot of ketchup on stuff and it reminds them of killing of blood, nuclear conflagrations. You want it on your on your corn and burgers over here? It look like looks like something that came out of your colon. Ooh, that that's good. Okay. 
Let it cook for a minute. We'll turn we'll turn the heat down. Okay, we're really pretending we know what we're doing here. Okay. It's trial and error. Ooh, that's too much. That's way too much. That's a lot of vino. You're ruining my vino. Okay, I think things are looking like they're cooking. Okay, we can we can take a little break now. A little video break. <laughs> little video break. Okay, I just cut the cheese. Real man, real man really like to have oh, real real people. I mean, I didn't mean to say real man. But here's, here's a real a real person over here. So, um, thank you, Mary. But real men, they like high cholesterol foods, okay? Because they know they can have heart bypass surgery, you know, as long as they have good, good health insurance. So you eat a lot of cheese, and you're like, okay, I'm going to get a heart attack. But, you know, that cheeseburger was just so good. It was worth it. So anyway, we cut the cheese. We put the cheese on there. And, um... Mary's got her burger there. She's going to be cooking that one up. And, uh, well, anyway, just, just like when I was cooking on that, uh, that other grill a couple years ago, um, I, I, I told you what real men drink from the type of cups. And I was serious because, you know, you have to have a little bit of yin with the yang. So, so men need a little yin with their, their yang, you know? You know what the yang is? Yeah, you guys know what the yang is. It's a hyper-masculine yang, right? You gotta have a little yin, you know, so th this is with the yin, and that balances your yang. All right, so these are my, my yin, yin ladies. There's Belle, there's Cinderella, there's Jasmine, and there's Rapunzel with the long blonde hair. Did I mention Belle? Well, anyway, they're all beautiful, respectful ladies, and I, I drink proudly from my Belle cup. It's my yin cup because the yin balances the yang. Okay, and all you men know what a yang is, right? Okay. okay well, the cheese melted. Cheese melted, and these are Nolan's beautiful bur. These are Nolan's summer burgers. These are his burgers before he goes back to school, and he's gonna get straight A's, or else he's gonna get a whooping from Grandpa. It's our agreement. You know, we're gonna slam down the Weber. That's how we know it's working. Okay. All you people live a blissful life. We can cut. <laughs>